Welcome to Keep It at 100 Oklahoma High School Sports. Tonight, we're going to have a special guest, the legend, Benny Coleman, after we come back to these commercials. But Big E, guess what? We're shooting on a Thursday night, not a Monday night, not a Tuesday night, but a Thursday night because oh, we're yeah. getting ready for the what? The state championship. As you can see, Big E got his cha-cha gear oh, on. Yeah. He got his gold standard on. Yes, hey, sir. he wants his jackets to win the state championship. Oh, Folks, yeah. this is going to be a hot show. It's cold outside. We got the fireplace going. But guess what? We're going to bring you some good stuff. Hey, high schools football is wrapping up. State yep. championship is coming down. 6A big, 6A small. It's coming down this week. We got some good teams in it, man. And some history's going to get made this week. Either Biggs is going to have a 36 game winning streak or Chata's going to have his first state championship. You got Santa, you got Edmund Santa Fe looking to get their first state championship. And yep. you got what? Who? Jinx? Hey, they've always been there. But folks, oh, yeah. after we come back, we're going to have the legend Benny Coleman on with us. Hey, they open up tonight against Deer Creek. Hey, wrestling season is upon us and it's getting jumping. Hey, um, the other night Mustang kicked off and guess what? The mighty, mighty Yellow Jacks is going to kick off tonight against Deer Creek. And as you know, last week we had Kate Binion on the show. And guess what? We're going to have Benny Coleman, the legend, on the show right after these sponsors. Thank you. Hey, Zoe, I'm looking for some good insurance. Do you know anybody? If you're tired of messing with the general, call Bobby Luce. He can take care of your cars, house, boats, and even your pets. He has two locations, Dell City, 4805 Southeast 44th Street. The number is 405-670-3665. And his new location is 1654 South Choctaw Road, Suite 107. Like a good neighbor, Bobby Lewis is there. Welcome back to Keep It 100, Oklahoma High School Sports. Join us tonight is the legend himself, Mr. Benny Coleman, the Chata High School wrestling coach. How you doing tonight, Coach Benny? I'm doing wonderful. Get ready to have a duel with Deer Creek, and um, hopefully it's a good night. Well, that's good, Benny. That's what we want to hear. I know with everything going on this season, Coach Benny, What's, what's it been like, you know, uh, having to go through this, you know, with, with, you know, with the COVID, you know, you can wrestle, you can't wrestle. It's kind of like with the football, everything going on. So what's practice kind of been like? It's a challenge. Um, just every day there's something different. Um, I know everybody in the state's going through it, but, uh, it's kind of a little keeping kids apart, um, out of big areas during the weekends and stuff. And, um, it's a challenge, but it's going to be a good year. That's good, Coach Benny. It's good to, good to hear that. Good to hear that. I know you still got, you know, the high school football team is still going on a journey, trying to play in the state championship football game this weekend. How many of you guys do you have that's still playing football that's going to help you in the wrestling season this year? Well, we're probably the bigger kids are, you know, they're the linemen and stuff. Some of them wrestle, so we're hoping to get them out. Speedy Walden, um, we might use him tonight. We think we're going to slide him in the lineup. He's that, been working out enough. so. Uh, that's what I'm uh, talking about, baby. That's keeping it 100, Coach Benny. <laughs> yeah, they got to go both ways sometimes. And uh, you got to use them, you got to use them. So. That's cool. Anyway. That's cool. So, you know, what, uh, you know, what you kind of have, you know, you lost two state championships, you know, last year with uh, McQuan and Gabe Johnson moving on to the college ranking now. Uh, you know, you still got a bunch of guys coming back. Uh, you know, what are some of the guys that, you know, for the people that don't know, you know, kicking off the wrestling season that they might not know some of the kids that you got coming back this year that can help you that has placed in state but not won a state championship but has placed in state that can kind of help the team, you know, get going this year? Uh, we got uh... – Caden Holman, he was uh, third in the state last year. Speedy Walden was second in the state. Sean Muse, third. Uh, Zeke Coleman was uh, in the finals. And Chandler Holman was a placer. So we've got some kids that's been one or two points away from being there. So uh, hopefully they'll step up this year and get it done. And I know there's some other guys like, you know, Jace Dean is, you know, and uh, Corey um Moreau, you know, some of those guys managed, you know, it's, it's, it's wrestled real good last year in the tournament, you know, kind of fell a little bit of short, you know, getting on that podium, but, you know, coming back just a bit, a little bit bigger, stronger, that's going to help the team, you know, like I said, you know, Z Coleman was right there in the finals, you know, he got a chance to win it this year, you know, he just, a, what, he just, a, what, just a junior, so he can be a two-time state champion, you know, uh, you know, uh, Speedy was a guy that kind of took that play-in spot, you know, came in and at the fifth seed, made it all the way to the finals, and Russell Cruz, I can learn a kid that's a little bit older, was a senior, but I think Speedy got a chance to do some big things this year. You know, Jackson Spear got all this, all the talent in the world, him and Sean Muse both, 
you know, all they got to do is kind of put everything together, then you know what? Those guys can be sitting on that podium. I know this year has been kind of a challenge in Coach Benning. You know, this time, you know, the last few years, we've been kind of getting ready for Nevada. We didn't go to Nevada last year. We ended up going to Kansas City Stampede. So, since you guys are not going to those, you know, those tournaments, are there some big other, some other big tournaments you guys plan on going to? Yeah, we're going to go to Perry next week, and that's always a, uh, it's a tough tournament uh, for early. And then after Christmas, we'll go to Gary. That's as tough as any of them. So uh, we have some big things coming and um, big duels. So we've got Midwest City next Thursday also. So uh, we're going to get some some matches and tournaments in for the break. Well, that's good, though, right there. I mean, they kind of get you ready for Gary. Are they going to have Gary? Because I kind of asked Kate last week, and he kind of didn't know. So you think they're going to have Gary this year? I hope so. We're probably not going to have the out-of-state teams come in, but uh, I think we're doing everything possible this year to keep as many uh, the tough teams in. And um, if it's if it's possible, we're going to make it happen. So uh, it's, I know it's a day-of-a-day day deal for all the tournament directors and stuff, but um, what I'm hearing now, we're having them all. That's cool. So Benny, I know uh, you know with your coaching staff, it kind of you know some you know a couple years ago you lost some guys, and I know this year are you keeping the same coaches? Did you bring anybody new in, or you know how's the how's the uh, coaching staff looking this year? Uh, we got the same ones. Becca Leathers is back. Dustin Reed's back. Uh, Dustin Wood is back, and JJ Vins is back. So um, uh, same group. We're just trying to just keep everything together. Well, it sounds like, hey, it sounds like you're ready, ready to rock and roll. You know, like I said, I know last few years, you know, you won a state championship. As you can see, I know you can't see right now. We got your picture on the on the screen. But everybody knows that, hey, I know Chata's trying to go play for a state championship. And I got the state championship ring that, you know, we won as a wrestling team. And I know this was some of the football players are looking, you know, looking forward to winning. You know, I got one sitting right here because my son was able to win one. You know, being under your, you know, your your guidance and you know teaching him and getting him to the to the spots, and I appreciate everything you did for my young man, and you know getting him to the next level. But Benny, I do want to talk about that. Like when you got a kid on the radar that's getting recruited, you know, what what do you tell coaches? You know, what are coaches looking for? You know, what do you kind of explain to a coach? Like, hey, I'm looking at this young man. You know, how do you kind of get that kid recruited? Well, I always tell the kids I'll never lie for them. Uh, they're not hard workers. Uh, I'm not going to go tell a college coach that uh, he's a hard worker. So that goes a long ways. Their academics, their, their, their work ethic and things they do inside and outside the room. Um, you know, college coaches and high school coaches talk about them things. So uh, kids need to understand social media. Don't let that kill you because uh, it's real easy to look on there and see what kind of student and uh, student athlete that kid is. Man, that's that's a hey, Benny. That's one thing we like about you. Well, we call you the legend. You keep it one hundred all the times, man. You've done a great job at Chata, you know, uh, wrestling. I mean, like I said, you've won a couple state championships, more than a couple. I'm, I'm just saying that. But you won many state championships. You got a lot of banners hanging up there in the, in the uh, field house that you know kind of represent Chata's wrestling. You know, the football team's going for its state championship. Chata's kind of turned itself around, man. They're kind of like the homecoming to everybody. No more. They're putting themselves out there. Not only just in wrestling and football, girls basketball. You know, Cole Talk is hot to get on the mic now and catch up with you guys and start trying to get himself into a state championship yep. uh, baseball team, which he probably could have last year with all the talent he had. But Coach Benny, man, I really appreciate you coming on here tonight. I know you got Deer Creek. So, when you think the match is going to come? I mean, have you are you guys shuffling the lineup around? Are you kind of saying, "Hey, we got we got a chance to win here"? I know how you do it, Coach Benny. You and Becca and Coach, you know. Uh, you know, Reed and, uh, you know, Coach Dustin, I know you guys will sit there and kind of put some stuff together. You think you guys got a good chance tonight on opening night? I think we do. We got some kids out, and we got some kids up weight. More than half our lineup's bumped up a weight, but um, you got to do what you got to do to fill the lineup this year. So uh, I got one that got sick on us a couple of days ago, and uh, he's at home, and then uh, we've just had some moves. One of them hurt his back yesterday, or not nothing bad, but – uh, we changed the lineup this morning on that. That's why Speedy's wrestling. So um, you just got to use the ones you have and, and, and make it work. So that's what we're doing. Well, Big Coach Benny, I appreciate you coming on Keep It in 100, Oklahoma High School Sports. Me and Big E's love to always, you know, get to talk to the legend yourself, Mr. Benny Coleman. Good luck tonight. Tell Miss Coleman I said hi. Tell Zane, take care of business up there in Arizona. And like I said, we're looking forward to coming out to a match and catching you guys live. Sounds good. Appreciate everything you guys do. Thank you, sir. Have a great Thank evening. You. You too. See you. Bye. Coach, that's Benny Coleman. As you can see, he's a legend. And I call him yeah. a legend because the guy has won so many state championships. The guy's been all over. He's got to put a lot of different kids in college, you know, and he does a great job, runs a great program. That's why he's still there. 
I mean, you got to think, he's got his last son there, you know. People's probably wondering, when is he going to retire? But Coach Benny still can move. Hey, don't hey, don't get it don't get it twisted. Coach <laughs> Benny still can get down on the mat and roll around with people. But right. I tell you right now, man, this show's going to be hot because we've got a lot of different things we need to talk about. Because when we come back after this sponsor, we're going to talk about high school sports. We're going to talk about the state championship. Oh, yeah. You know, you get down to, what, 5A's in the semifinals, 4A's in the semifinals, yep. 3A, 2A. But 6A's in the finals, baby. So after we come back after one of these... Sponsors. Hey, we'll, we'll keep it real with you. Keep it at 100. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. With 25 years experience in the industry, Linex Customs OKC is your one-stop shop for all your vehicle accessory needs. Specializing in spray-in liners, lifts, levels, wheels, tires, bed covers, and anything else you need to make your ride look and sound better. Call Eric and the boys at 405-778-8878. Trying to go out to your trash can, having to smell so bad. Well, no further. Call Spiffy Cans. He cleans, disinfects, sanitize. 405-423-8824 or go to spiffycansok.com. Spiffy Cans, he's your man. Spiffy Can, he's your man. Welcome back to Keeping It 100 Oklahoma High School Sports. And it's my favorite part of the show. We get to talk football, baby. Football, 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 football. Folks, it was a great weekend. I got a chance to go to catch a game. I got the chance to go catch them uh, Mighty Mighty Jacks. Before we get to Small 6A, we got to talk about Big 6A. Hey, oh, yeah. I tell you right now, man, Big 6A is hot. Edmund Santa Fe got up on Union 21 to 4. 21-0, to zero. Yep. Union fought back, made it 21-14. to 14. Edmund Santa Fe is going for a state championship. Folks, they haven't, they haven't had a side, this side of the state win a championship since the Midwest City Bombers back in 1995-96. Folks, yep. it's hot. I'm telling you right now. Hey, Edmund Santa Fe is trying to win. I told you a couple of weeks ago, did you I did. not? You did. I said it. them. Yep. I said them. Edmund Santa Fe is going to win the state championship, even though they still got to go take care of business this week against Jinx. But Jinx knocked off who? Owasso. Knocked I mean, off who? Definitely didn't see that coming. Hey, I tell you right now, Blankership, you must have been slipping on them. Hey, I'm telling you about the thing about Jinx. Those guys find a way to win. They're kind of like Tom Brady in the playoffs. Yep. They find a way to win. Oh, yeah. I'm just telling you, man, they dyed their hair blonde. I couldn't dye my hair blonde. It's all gray. <laughs> I look like a skunk. But I'm just telling you right now, Jinx find a way to win. Yeah. They do. I mean, that, I mean. They're arguably the most historic team in Oklahoma. I mean, you you think about Oklahoma high school football. Jinx is probably the first name that comes comes to your head. You know that that's because the rich history and tradition at that program. They've been winning uh, for years and years and years. You know, so uh, they get the chance to play for another one this year. They were out of it past couple years. Uh, didn't make it to the final, but they're back right back in it. Yeah. Right back in it. I tell you right now, that's yeah. gonna be a hey one o'clock kickoff. I wish that I wish that Tata game was a one o'clock kickoff. But Jinx and Edmund Santa Fe, like tell me this, Edmund Santa Fe, that's a what? That's a home game for them. Yeah. Playing right in their backyard. Right. Yeah. UCO. Yeah, they're just. They, what they, is it like a five ten minute drive? They can run to the game. Yeah. They ain't got to take a bus. They ain't going to get a charter bus. And I'll tell you what, like a lot, I saw on Twitter, I was looking around on Twitter, there's a lot of teams from the East that are not happy about that. But the reason why they moved it to UCO is because it's kind of central. You know, I mean, that's about as close to the center as you're going to get. So uh, they tried to make it equal distances to wherever. But when you got a school in Edmond, a high school in Edmond, and then they make it to the state championship, yeah, it's going to be a home game for them. So, uh, hey. you know. Hey, they didn't pick it. They didn't say, hey, Edmund Santa Fe is going to win it. Right. Edmund Santa Fe went and took care of business. And guess what? They're going to the States. Hey, they're, they're, in the, they're in the finals. Yep. Not semifinals. They're in, the they're in the finals. But, folks, as you can see, we got the ring right here. Yes, and that's sir. what you mighty Jackies are trying to go get. Biggs is on a 35-winning game winning streak. Looking for number 36, Coach Corbin. And the mighty, mighty Yellow Jackets got they, it what? They pulled it off, man. They pulled it off. I'll folks, tell you what. That was uh... – the whole city of Choctaw is on fire right now. I remember uh, I was driving to work. I was listening to the game. Uh, the Jacket guys, shout out to uh, shout out to them, Coach uh, Bass, and uh, what's the other one's name? I forget. Stoddard. Yeah. So uh, they got uh, listening to them. Uh, uh, you know, I always have to work on Friday and Saturday nights. I don't know why that is, but uh, so I'm on my way to work. I'm listening to it, 
and uh, Yowzi's going up to make the kick, and I'm like, I'm I'm shaking, like I should have not, I should not have been driving. I definitely could have. That's got, good stuff. That's good stuff. Somebody else hurt, and then he made the field goal. There was literal tears in my eyes, folks. He's not lying. I he calls lying. me. I'm I at call. the game. He calls me. He says, Tony, I'm crying. I said, Biggie. <laughs> I said, What happened? Hey, like, I got a little emotional, you know, just knowing all those guys are on that team and knowing how hard they worked, and uh, you know, growing up around them, just uh, seeing them be able to live out their dreams and. Uh, See their hard work going, be put into effect. You know, it, that's that's amazing. Uh, but I'm gonna tell you, folks. I was at the game live, and I'm gonna tell you right now. Cha Cha played a perfect game from offense to defense, from the plays to play calling. I'll tell you right now, man. I know early in the year, I kind of said, man, Coach Corbin lost his offensive coordinator and he lost his offensive lineman coach but i tell you man the guy is clicking right now he might be the yeah. hottest coach out and you're gonna hear me say it right here on keep it 100 not being no uh bandwagon i still got my keep it 100 and i yeah. told him to wear his yellow jacket stuff he told me to wear it i, I told wear him the keep it 100 gear but. but hey he needs to support his team hey hey they're in the state finals way to go yeah. uh Cha-Cha. but i'm gonna tell you right now you heard it here first coach corbin needs to be up for coach of the year the Absolutely. guy i'm telling you right now the guy's been on a four-year. You know, when people say believe the pro the progress, I'm telling you trust right now, the he, yep. trust it because I'm telling you, the guy has done a great job. You know, his first year he goes with six and four. Second year, you know, we go four and six. Ah, tough year. But yep. you know, come back last year they go what uh, eight and four. Now he got them sitting at what eight and four. Uh, right uh, now, nine and three. Maybe. Nine and three. I'm sorry, yeah. nine and three. Nine and three. Don't, yeah. don't get mad. But I'm just telling you right now, the guy's the hottest thing out. And guess what, folks? BA, you know. Yep, they just fired their head coach, or I don't know if it was a firing or like a mutual agreement to leave. I don't know. No, no, nah, nah, baby, but... it's Christmas time. The Grinch came and got him. He All had right. to go. But folks, I'm gonna tell you right now, if you're BA, who's the hottest coach out right now out here? Coach Corbin. I mean, the guy, good looking. Got good hair. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's coach the team. Coach Cha Cha. Everybody, everybody was Cha Cha's home, I mean, homecoming. When I played with Midwest City, I played defense. But when Cha Cha came to town, I got a chance to catch a, a, a ball or two. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Kamasi Ford was our yeah. backup, backup quarterback, and he was throwing me a ball because I played defense. But I'm telling you right now, Cha Cha's not everybody's homecoming. Cha Cha's putting people on the, on, on the, as their homecoming. Hey, you come play us. We're yeah. going to beat up on you. But I tell right. you right now, the BA job is kind of interesting, D. You know, me and you kind of talked before we got on this show. If you was Corbin, would you, would you, would you go after that job? Would you, would you look at trying to take that job? I mean, I'd consider it, but just knowing what Corbin's done for the community of Choctaw and, uh, you know, with the program and it's not just the school. I mean, Choctaw, the city in general. I mean, you, there's just a different. I don't know how to explain it. Like, it's just like the support, like it doesn't matter. Like basketball games, stands are packed. Football games, stands are packed. I mean, you can go baseball games, volleyball games, like the support and the uh, excitement around Choctaw athletics is that of all time high. And uh, a part of that, I mean, is a credit to coach Corbin, you know, uh, he came in there. I got it. I got it on my sleeve right here. The gold standard. He implemented that first year here. Uh, and for those of you that don't know, that stands for gratitude, ownership, leadership, and discipline. And those are things that uh, they try to instill into the athletes at Choctaw, you know, and that'll take them beyond sports. That'll take them into their lives and, you know, as they're adults and as they become fathers and mothers and uh, parents, you know. So, you know, it's just he brought something to Choctaw that Choctaw's never had. Hey. And to see that leave, I mean, it would hurt. But at the end of the day, uh, Coach Corbin's got to do what's best for him and his family, you know. So, uh, I don't. There shouldn't be any ill will if he does decide to leave. But you can't be time, mad at the man yeah. he left because I'm telling you, if somebody knocks on my door, even though I work for Miller Coors, <laughs> knocks on my door and says, "Hey, TJ, we're gonna off you, gonna offer you 140 plus a company car." Hey, baby Jessica, we move, we pack it. <laughs> hey, call you haul Call whoever you got to do. Call UPS or whoever. We pack and we moving. But, hey, the guy got to do what's best for his family. But I tell you right now, he is the hottest coach out there yeah. right now. And, hey, that ain't the only job that's open. Muskogee's open. There's Rumble and that union might be open. Hey, just keeping it 100. I don't know for sure. But I'm going to tell you right now, though, the athletic director that's at BA is a, what? Carl Albert Young, man, Stevie Dunn, yep. brother Mike Dunn of Dell City. But think about it. If Corbin did leave, if he did leave, Cha Cha, yeah. you got to break somebody just as good as him. Yeah, that'd be some big shoes to fill. Yeah, that'd be sure. some big shoes to fill, and I'm telling yeah. you. But I tell you though, Corbin came from Dell City. Yep. You don't think Mike Donna try to come over here to, to Cha Cha? I mean, if I'm being completely honest, I'm not. I don't see Corbin leaving Choctaw this I'm year. I'm just saying, but. hey, we're just keeping it 100. 
You always got to put it out there. Hey, that's what we do first. We keep it 100. If we don't keep it 100, hey, you want, you want okay prep to beat us to this? No. And I hope the guy no. don't leave, but I'm saying yeah. that's his dream job. Yeah. He played, I mean, he, he coached there before. He, he's been yeah. there. Right. I mean, he's a, I mean, the guy has done a great job. I'm telling you right now, he goes to BA and he takes care of business. BA, guess what? He's in the college ranks. Yeah. I'm just telling you, that's how good the guy can be right now. He's on fire. He's like what? Denny's in my what? Hot cakes. He's like Denny's in my what? Hot cakes. I'm just telling you, the guy's on fire, cakes. man. I'm just yeah. telling you right now. Not saying Coach Brian couldn't get the job, but I'm saying who if if he did leave, that job is gonna be hot. Yeah. I'm telling you, Sexton, I'm pretty sure he'll put in for it. Yeah. He's done a great job. He's a Midwest City Dell City guy around this area. Hey, I'm just telling you right now, these coaches, these these athletic directors and these these uh superintendents, they want young guys that's gonna be there, man. Kinda yeah. like the old boy over at Hera, Chris. Yeah. You know, you want a young guy, man. I'm telling you right now, Tata's not been to a state championship since nineteen what? Sixty. Sixty. 60. Exactly. And I wasn't even born. Ago. I was even thought of. You was even well, you, either one My of them. My parents wasn't even alive then. Exactly. So that's what I'm saying. I mean, there's a lot, a lot of Hooping, hollering, rolling going on right now. People's fired up. Even though the game's going to be cold, you're going to see so many people at the game oh, yeah. on on, on um, Saturday night at 7 o'clock. The weather's supposed to be about 33 degrees. Folks, get your tickets now. They're only doing 6000 3000 for uh, Bigsby, you know, 3000 for uh, Chata. And I'll tell you right now, I saw something on Facebook yesterday. Bigsby talking a little noise, talking about our goal six balls. Hey, I'm telling you right now, it's going to be a game. It's not – Bixby is not going to have it easy. And even earlier in the season when Choctaw had that matchup against Bixby, Bixby was probably pissing their pants during that game. You know, they got a little scared. They only put up 24 points. You know, Choctaw, they were competing. They were neck and neck that whole game. It wasn't like the rest of those games where they was up by 50, uh, 40, 50 points, you know. I mean, and now I think Choctaw is better than uh, – Better than when they were. When oh they yeah. The well, first they time, well they sure. they didn't have they didn't have R J that last time. Yeah. Now they, they got, got R J. They got R J. Yeah, back. they got R J back. You got Brown back, and I tell you right now, I know you didn't get to go to the game, but it's fourth and five. Still, I mean, still, I got to give it a steal. He made some amazing throws. Yeah, I was across watching the highlights. The, I mean, that, across his body, yeah. man, the kid played amazing. amazing. Hey, it's fourth and five. They call timeout. Uh, R J kind of drags across, man, and, and number two, uh, I think it's Brown uh, for. Uh, um, the OSU commit for Stillwater. Yeah, Gabe he, he, yeah, he comes across, man, and he he's stuck between. Do I tackle Still? Do I go to Do I go off to RJ? Man, Still puts the ball right on the money, man. He's about to get sacked. Put the ball right on the money, man. The kid makes some big time money yeah. throws, man. I'm telling you right now, he ain't a soft no more. He's not a sophomore no more. He's no. playing like a junior, a senior. You know, I mean, I tell you, man, I watched him one time. I'm telling you, I watched him one time look over at Corbin and JJ and say, hey, run this play. It's going to be open on the backside. Wesley Zinger ran it. He ended up getting past interference. But, man, to see a sophomore do that, yeah, I tell you right now, I know his daddy got kind of fired up at me last week, but I'm telling you, still, yeah. if you do the things you do, boy, hey, hey, the gold, yellow big roll, whatever what they call it on the uh, Wizard of Oz, uh, the yellow big yellow roll. Brick road, yeah. yeah. It's, hey, big things can happen for you, son. But, hey, Good about talk. We'll come back and talk about them here a bit. But let's talk about my my mighty Titans. All right, let's do it. Hey, buddy showed out last week. He did. Showed out last week. Folks, knock on this young man's door. Go do get it. this kid. What are you waiting on? There's no reason you should. The kid is a four-point student. I'm, I'm telling you, man, the kid goes both, I mean, on offense and defense. He's getting fumbles. He's going touchdown. He's, he ran over somebody so bad, man. I felt, I felt it in my living room. He hit that kid so hard. The kid was, I mean, it was bad. It looked like a aluminum foil. Yeah. Like, you know, when you smash a can, that's what it looked yeah. like. Buddy is putting on the show. Yeah. A show. A show. You hear me putting on the show. If y'all can hear that knock, that's my baby girl, uh, <laughs> Ivy. She wants to go see Papa, but you got to wait, baby girl. I'm on a show right now. You ain't ready for keeping 100, my little mama. You ain't ready. So calm down and Papa will be out there in a minute. Sorry about that, folks. Hey, she wants to jump in on keeping 100 too. Yeah. But I'm just telling you right now, there was some good games. Yeah. If the score looks closer than what it was, E, yeah. the final score was what? Uh, 20 to 36. But I'm telling you, Kyle Albert jumped all over those boys, man. Uh, Bishop Kelly, man, we were talking. I thought Bishop Kelly was all this, man. Bishop Kelly came out there and looked. They were scared of the game, man. I mean, they act like they was really, really scared to come out and play ball. The first play of the game, they fumble. I'm yeah. telling you, they come out and fumble. Carl Albert gets the ball, go down and score. I'm just telling you, man. Carl Albert's tough, man. Ben had a pretty good game. Houston Russell, you know your boy Colby Crew. I mean, he, hey, he's still showing out. Guess what, folks? He's another young man out there. Go get him, man. Yeah. Get these kids, man. I'm just telling you right now. 
hey, it, it, it's tough though. It, it, it really is tough to see these guys not get recruited, but I know their time's going to come. Like I told you last week, on Christmas Day, December 25th, they're going to open a box and there's going to be a bunch of letters in there <laughs> waiting for those guys. Yeah. You think so? I hope so. I they hope so it. too. They deserve but it. But who else? Who else? Who else are we looking at? Man. It's the matchup that me and you have been talking about since the beginning. Ooh, we got wee. Carl Albert versus Collinsville this week on Friday night. Friday night lights. Hey, man, this is the weird thing about it, E. Guess where the games play that? It's at Carl Albert. They're not playing neutral site. Folks, I got to see, I got to see your coach, uh, OSSA, my man, uh, uh, Todd Goosby at the, at the game the other night. We saw him at dinner and he wants to come on the show and talk. He said, if, if you and E need anything, I'll come on and explain some of the rules to you guys. So we're going to have him on the show probably here in the next week or so. It's pretty yeah. cool when you can have a ref on, you can have the OSSA guy on. We just had the legend Benny Coleman on. That's yeah. what we do, folks. Oklahoma yeah. Prep ain't having these guys on, but we are though. That's what we're doing though. <laughs> we're having right. everybody on. We're going to jump into girls basketball, folks. I'm telling you right now, we got a lot of stuff going, man. We got one going into men's basketball. Like to get Middle do basketball coach on, man. And you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of good things going on. But getting back to, you know, Collinsville and Guthrie, man, it was, it was kind of close. But I guess at the end, Collinsville yeah. got the rolling. Yeah, I was checking the score every once in a while, and uh, I was looking at it, and they were close, I think, around the second, third quarter. And then they, Collinsville comes out of house time. They made those adjustments, and then they, they started lighting the scoreboard up again, how, how they've been doing all season. Yeah. And, you know, uh, an interesting thing, I was listening to uh, – I think I, I was listening to the radios, either like Sports Animal Franchise. I don't know where I heard of that. But that the site for that game was decided by a coin flip. Yes, 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 yeah. yes, yes. No, no, so, no, no. You're, you're right. That's what so, Goose said. He said they, they both were both number one seats, so yeah. they had to flip. So whoever it is now, like, you know, going into, I guess, the other the other rounds, you know, because some of them haven't got to the semifinals yet. But, yeah, um, yeah they flipped for it. They both got to it, and they flipped it. So guess what? Kyle, I'll get to host them at home, which yeah. is cool, though. Yeah. That'd be a game I might try to go over there and make, though. Uh, Friday night, I know Zoe, yeah, I'll try to be there. Uh, her team is playing on Friday night, so I don't know. I might have to, have to catch it on my phone. But i tell you, though, Luke and the boys did what? Oh, they got that win against Kawita. Kawita. I tell you, I, you know, not a bad team. Not man. a bad team, but Luke and the boys put up 39 points on them, man. Yep. And guess what? If I can get this show like I wanted to go, I would love to have Luke and Kobe back on again. Round two of Bishop McGinnis and the CA Titans. But I'm going to tell you right now, don't jump on it yet because Collinsville is going to be sitting there waiting. I know I've been talking to RT and he's been kind of, you know, watching a little bit of game film and he says Collinsville is like to spread you out and just run the QB. You know, they like to do a lot of stuff that, you know, Bishop McGinnis did, which yeah. I'll tell you one thing about Coach Corley and those, those guys over at Carl Albert, they know how to adjust. They know yeah. how to adjust the game. So, hey, I'll tell you right now, I know I've been picking, you know, Weeks and weeks ago, I said Carl Albert's going to lose three games. Guess what? It ain't going to happen. But I tell you, they're going to get to that state championship, and they're going to find Luke and the boys. And I'm telling oh, you yeah. right new, right now, Luke mm-hmm. and the boys going to be ready again. But I'll pick that game next week. But i just tell you, hey, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. Yeah. And what we got? What we got? Another game of five, a close one. And it was a heartbreaker, I, you know. Uh, McAllister over El Reno by two points. Ooh, Score was 43 ooh, to 41. Hey, that was like a track man. That, that, that looked like an eight man football game. They were just going, zoop, zoop. everybody right. was going up and down the field scoring. Right. But hey, McAllister, mm-hmm. hey, they pulled it off. They knocked off the number one team early this year. I mean, oh. in, in the playoffs and in, in the first round. So I just tell you right now, McAllister's probably hot, kind of just like Tata. Folks, when you get on a winning streak, it's hard to lose. Yep. It's hard to lose. And right now, McAllister's on it. You know, and like I said, Luke and the boys got to take care of business against him because it's going to be a tough game. But I just feel like now, I think Luke and Bishop McGinnis is probably just a little bit ahead of the game. Like I said, he got some of his weapons back, and you can see they're putting up points. So I'm going to say it's going to be Bishop McGinnis and Carl Albert next week playing over at UCO's uh, field next next Friday or Saturday night. So yep. be looking out for that. Hey, let's jump into 4A real 4A. quick. 4A. What's interesting about 4A, every single game was decided by one score. Golly. Every hey, them single some, game. Hey, them some good scores right yeah, there. Yeah, that's, some, that's some the football good, you like to see. That's some good football. I'll tell yeah. you, hey, yeah. I'm not telling you that, though, E. That game with Stillwater and Tata was good, man. It went yeah. back and forth, man. I'm telling yeah. you. What's the kicker's name again? Uh, Yowzy. Yowzy. Yeah. Man, I'm going to give it up to you, man. I'm going to give it up to you because yeah. go and kick a winning field goal is tough, man. Yeah. With everybody cheering and screaming. I mean, it was, I mean, just to watch one team, then watch yeah. the other team. Yeah. And you know what? 
it feels good for those Choctaw people. Jimmy Shivers because, is thinking about you know, it all over it, again. It, gets, it feels good yeah. for those Choctaw people because, you know what, we were that team last year. I remember my son, Deshaun, crying after his last high school game over at the UConn Stadium, man. Yep. Tears coming down his eyes, man, because it was it. Yeah. You got to think, some, you might not even play another down of football. Yeah. So, you know, and, and like I said, these games right here in 4A come down to the one score, you know, Tuttle and, you know, and Wagner, you know, I mean, Wagner pulls it off 21-14. to 14. Yep. I mean, whew, Tuttle won state just a couple years ago, and guess what? They're not going to do it again this year. But I just tell you, I told you, Wagner's a team to win in 4A. Yeah. Then you have what? Cushing and what? Hill down. Uh, that was a, I mean, these are all close games. Uh, Hill, uh, Cushing got the win, um, 34 to 28. Kind of an upset. Uh, uh, Hilda was sitting at 11 wins coming into the season, <laughs> and then Cushing had nine wins. So, uh, uh, Hilldale maybe, uh, underestimated their opponent a little bit. And it ended up biting them in the butt. You can't sleep on nobody, yeah. baby. You Especially cannot sleep on nobody at this time of the year, man. It's yeah. too tough. Then you got Blanchard. I'll tell you right now, Blanchard knocked off uh, Tuttle a couple weeks ago, man. They're playing great ball. That was a close game. Blanchard and who? Uh, yeah. Bristol? Bristol, I mean, yeah. Yeah, 21-18. Golly. Woo. Yeah. That's, I mean, that's a tight game. Yeah. And then you had who? You had Clinton and who? Poto. Poto. Poto's supposed to be a pretty good team, man. Yeah. I think I'm, I'm, I'm gonna kind of say that's an upset right there. Clint knocking over Poto. Right. You know, I mean, uh, what is it? Uh, Clint Tornadoes? Is that what they call? I don't know their mascot. Man, you don't know the mascot. I, I think it's Clint. Yeah, I think it's, it's Clint Tornadoes, baby. Let me see if it'll tell me real tell, quick. Let me talk to me, Big E. I think it's Clint yeah, Tornadoes. Yeah, Clinton Tornadoes. But I tell you, Clint. Tornadoes. I got a guy that works with me, man. He he went to school there. He was a golfer. He works for me over there. Oh, uh, Bear. Yeah, he was a Clinton Tornado. He always talks about them. But hey, that's good stuff, though, man. Yeah. Congratulations to all those teams that's going to the to the semifinals. Not the yep. finals. They still got another yeah, week. Yeah, they still got another round. Yeah, so uh, we're going to go into what? Um, Let's go into 3A. 3A. 3A football. What we got going there, Big E? So we got uh, Vertigris versus Heritage Hall. Uh, <laughs> you got that name right this yeah, time. Yeah, I got it right this time. <laughs> What was his name? Coach Chris? Yeah, Coach Chris. Hey, I talked to Coach Chris last night. Hey, Coach Chris, I don't know if I'm going to get a chance to meet you, but good luck to you and the Bigsby Spartans. You know, I mean, I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it 100, man. I'm not going to pick my score until Saturday morning, and then I'll shoot something out on on on, uh, on my Twitter page and my Facebook page and the Keep It 100 page. So I haven't picked nothing yet, though, because I did I did that last week. I just want a good game, man. Anytime you pay for to go watch a good game like that, you want a good game. I tell you, the yeah. Stillwater game is probably one of the best games I've seen. And it's probably as good as that lot in uh, uh, talked our game last year, but um, I'm not gonna pick nothing. Yeah. Who we got in three A? In three A. So you got you said you oh, got yeah, Heritage. we had Vertigris and Heritage Hall. Heritage Hall gets the win. I mean, Heritage Hall has been kind of running three A the past few years. But I tell you right now, they about to get knocked off. Leaking Chris is so. coming, baby. Oh yeah, Leaking Lincoln Chris is the real deal. Yeah, absolutely put a beat down on Anna Darko last yeah, week. Yeah, yeah, sixty three to twenty. <laughs> you know, you allow sixty three points in the playoffs. I mean. Yeah, I, I tell you, you know, it was, it was an upset last week. You know, Kingston getting beat. You know, uh, it was a singular uh, yeah, knocking Stingler. off Kingston. Yeah, yep. and then here, here they took care of business again. Who they got? Uh, Kingfisher. They played Holland Hall, and then uh, Holland Hall got the win at another big margin, uh, fifty-one to twenty-one over Kingfisher. Yeah. Woo. Kingfish is a pretty good team. Yeah, a pretty good know. team. But you know, hey, that Holland Hall, I don't know much about those guys, man. But they're playing good football right now. You're scoring that many points. I mean, they beat Shakota last week, what, 52-0. to zero. Come back this week, Holland Hall against Kingfisher, 51-21. to 21. Man, they're putting up points. So, yeah. I'll tell you right now, you know, uh, Stingler better have their defense ready for these guys because I'm telling you, they're putting up points. And guess what? Hey. You better be able to match them if you don't because they're scoring. They're going to score. Yep. Don't think they're not going to score. So uh, that should be a good game. But I'm going I'm to pick Lincoln Christian and probably Holland Hall. Yeah. That's what I picked. Probably going to be in the final. I agree with you with that. Okay. Yeah. Hey, we yeah. agreed on something, yeah. Big E. We agreed on something. Who are we going to? A 2A now? 2A. 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 Here uh, we go. Started off with an upset in 2A. A lot of people, a lot of the like OK preps and the Vibe guys, they had uh, Vianne winning it all. Mm -hmm. And they lose last week to Metro, Metro Christian. Uh, you know, Vianne has uh, one of their athletes committed to uh, Oklahoma State, uh, so they were pretty high on them. And uh, Metro Christian comes up uh, and beats them in their house. Or Metro Christian, they played at Metro Christian, so they got a win in front of their home crowd. Hey, so, hey they're a good ball club. They yeah. really are. They, 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 they're a really good ball club. Yeah. Who else we got? Oh, uh-oh. I accidentally clicked on some. There we go. Uh, Frederick and Millwood, that was a – Another one of those games, you know, Millwood, uh, they've been good in 2A for a long time, and then they come out and uh, they lose to Frederick uh, at home. 
So Frederick will move on, and they'll play. I want to say they play Metro Christian. Uh, don't quote me on that yet. No, it'd be Marlow and. Uh... Okay, Marlow, Marlow and Metro Christian, and then Frederick will play Beggs, which Beggs has the uh, yeah, the best running back, isn't it? Uh, best... I think he plays wide receiver. Or DB. No, I thought he was the best. I don't know. I thought he was the best yeah. running back, but I'm not. I'm not sure. On I don't that. know. He's committed to Texas A and M, and Texas A and M is not doing too bad this year. I think no, no. Hey, hey, they, five right they now. got a chance to sneak into the college playoffs. Yeah, they were talking about that the other day. You know, Ohio State kind of fumbled somewhere. Guess what? Texas A and M is going to get in, and no boy's yeah. done a good job. You know, uh, so. Uh, good job to those guys down at A&M. Uh, who else we got? Um, let's see. Washington and Darren playing this week. Uh, hey, Washington so. took, knocked off Jones. Hey, that was a good game, yeah. though, 26-22. Hey, I mean, I'm telling you right now, I mean, both teams are a good team. You know, Carson may got one more year, so you should see this kid light up here, you know, this this spring going into the, into his senior year. Man, he should light up. But I just tell you, man, Coach Martin does a good job down there with those guys, man. I hope they finally get turfed. I tell you, they get turfed for They might get a couple more guys to come in there, man. It's hard playing on that grass. Right. But, you know, yeah. I mean, everybody want to play on that turf. But, I mean, Coach Martin does a good job, you know, with his QBs and, and his players, man. He gets them in the college. So, you know, great job this year, Coach. I mean, Coach Martin and the Jones uh, Longhorn. Uh, you know, good luck next year. Get it going. But, like I said, you got Carson A for one more year. So, hopefully he can get some things changed out yeah. and get him a state championship before he, you know, he ends his high school career. Absolutely. Who we got? Uh, Community Christian and Oklahoma Christian OCS uh, OCS gets the win and uh, they move on and they will play I keep having to switch back and forth here OCS will be playing Ufala, which Ufala. Ufala's what? playing good ball, man. They are playing good hey, ball. They're not just a lake town. Yeah. Hey, we're a football town, too. Yeah. Hey, you ain't just going to come hang out on the lake and do a little skiing and fishing. We're going to take care of business on the uh, hey. On the, on the football on the, on field, the great yeah. iron too. So, uh, good job. You follow those guys, man. I mean, hope they can make it to the championship. But, hey, I'll tell you, it's going to be tough, though, playing with some Christian schools, man, because, hey, they can fall out, flat out ball out. So, good luck to all those teams, and you know, in the class 2A, though. Uh, you know, Coach Ginn, good job to those guys. And you're going to hear me say it again with those guys. Uh, you know, him and the belt, the Wildcats, I know they feel short, you know, in the second round against Marlowe. But I'm going to tell you here, you heard it here, keep it 100. He should be up. Oh, man, we lost our deal. Eat this uh, MacBook. Hey, he got, we lost his MacBook. To, MacBook. But uh, he should be up for uh, Coach of the Year in 2A, man. Like I said, 6A, I'm looking at Coach Corbin, you know, and, and, and Big Big 6A, you got to look at Edmund Santa Fe's coach, man. I mean, some of the things these guys is doing, call out me. And then 5A, I mean, you got to depends on who can pull it off. If Bishop McGinnis can pull it off, hopefully they can, you know, have Coach of the Year. But, you know, really, 6A small, you got to get up to Corbin, man. And I don't know how they do it. I don't know if they do it in different classes. They do all one 6A, or is it 6A1 and 6A2 together? If it's separate, though, you got to get up to Corbin in, 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 in you know, Yellow Jackets. Because, like I said, yeah. what they've done this year, though, man, you know, start the year off kind of slow, go up to Arkansas, get beat up, man. And, you know, you're looking like, man, this team might go 3-7. and seven. But then they kind of got to turn around, lost a bunch of guys, lose, you know, Chase Jackson at the beginning of the year. Yeah, Kid gets hurt, year, yeah. you know. So then, you know, uh, Terrell Davis is out. He's sick, you know, for a few weeks and, you yeah. know, don't have him. Still's yeah. a young quarterback. He started off with some turnovers. But if you see the last few weeks, and you know, we talk about this every, yeah. day, every day on this show, what do you got to do to win ball games? You got to keep the ball in your hands. And don't turn it yeah, over. you can't turn and it guess over. guess what? Stillwater had two turnovers. Chata had none. You know, and like I said, yeah. uh, you know, we talked about with you know Bishop McGinnis. You didn't get to watch that game because Bishop McGinnis is stingy. And I'm sorry, Bigsby is stingy. Yeah. Give me, Bigsby is stingy, and they want to play the game, so we had to listen to it on audio. So yeah. this time you get to watch the game live. And folks, if you haven't seen this Preston kid play, he's the real deal. I'm gonna tell you, you can't tackle him in the phone booth. The kid is the real deal. And yeah. I know Coach Bryant and the rest of that, you know, EJ and those guys are putting the game plan together to stop this kid. But I'm gonna tell you, you just can't worry about him. They just had their big receiver, you know, got off in the Oklahoma State. They yep. got some weapons, folks. They were young, but like I said, anybody that started off young is old now. You know that thing. They're not. They're not. They're not sophomores no more. They're not freshmen no more. If they're freshmen, they're sophomores. They're sophomores or juniors. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they grow up. They play 10, 11 games, twelve games now. This ain't. This ain't the first game. I'm telling you right now. If you look what Steele was when he started to where he's at now. He's a whole different ball whole kid. Different whole he different ball grew kid. Up a lot. Kid got a lot of swag though. And I mean, I'm not jumping on no bandwagon or none of that stuff. Cause you know, last week 
I told you about his attitude, but I keep it, keep it 100 with you. The kid played with a lot of poison the night. Me and my brother sat and watched the game, and he's like, man, I kind of like this kid, man. He got a little attitude. You know, he's telling the coach, come on, let's go get a play in. I mean, he got it. I mean, when he kid, you know, and I got a chance to play with Gundy, Kel, and Kel was special. I got a chance to play with Jeremy Woods. Jeremy Woods was special and A.J. Hinch. You know, I've got to play with those guys. A.J. Hinch was my quarterback in junior high. And you look at those guys, they were QBs. But I tell you right now, I tell people all the time, much as Gundy got recruited when he was in high school, Gundy probably wouldn't be one of the top quarterbacks in the state right now if he was playing with these guys. Yeah. Man, at the time and age of QBs has changed so much. Yeah. And I just tell you, man, there's a lot of good QBs out here in the state. You know, I mean, I want to do a team, you know, here in the next few weeks. I want to hear, talk about the kids that's coming back, you know, like the right. Steel, like the, you know, the, uh, the Brown kid, you know, what Del City got over there with the Foreman kid. I mean, they got a lot of good kids coming back. Kyle Albert over there with Brazil, you know, coming back. Yeah. You know, you got a lot of these kids coming back, you know, that's, uh, you know, that's going to be able to, you know, I mean, some of these kids still got two years, like RJ. I mean, RJ, oh, yeah. you know, we really talked about him that much tonight on the show, but RJ's the real deal, man. The kid, yeah. you know, everybody calls Steel Superman, right? Yeah, the man of Steel. But I should call, we should call RJ, what's that guy, Spider Man? Yeah. You know why? Because I, he's smart, so he catching, I mean, the kid is catching, I mean, the kid is catching balls, man. His hands yeah. is big, man. I'm just telling you, hands is, he got some big hands. Man, I'm just telling you, man, to see some of these guys, man, it's going to be fun to follow these guys for the next few years yeah, and see the things they yeah. do, man, from the little running back. I mean, I just tell you right now, and it's hard, man, I'm telling you right now, to get to a state championship and try to get to another one. It's hard because I, I tell you right now, my my young man was supposed to win his as a freshman in wrestling. He didn't. And I think, man, he ain't going to never win one. Oh, he going to be a, No, it, it didn't happen. He ain't been a two-timer. But right. it's hard to get back, though, man. And I just tell you right now. And, folks, we don't have any any for sure to, hey, Corbin's going here or none of that. We're just keeping it 100 because I just know, hey, Bigsby's a good, good program. Um, you know, I don't want nobody to get twisted. Hey, Tony's on his th-. No, I'm just saying it's a good school. He's the hottest coach out right now. I'm just telling you right now. If, if 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 I'm the administration and I'm part of that board and I'm thinking, man, they gonna come after when you good, people gonna come after you. That's just how it is. I mean, and you should be you should be happy that people's coming after you because he's put out a good product. That's good. And so hopefully he's got somebody on his staff that he's coached up and got them ready to take over in case he did leave or go somewhere else. Because I'm just telling you right now, you gotta do what's best for your family. Don't do. I mean, I know Chata's your family, but sometimes you gotta move on. I've been I've been in my job for 19 years. But before I was at my job, I had another job, kind of like you. You've yeah. been at you've been at a different couple of jobs too. So yeah. it, it happens, folks. So you know, good luck to everybody in the playoffs, man. You know, it's great to have Coach Binyam. You know, it's good to talk a little wrestling. Uh, like I said, we do got people lining up for basketball right now with so much going on. You know, as you can see, each week football kind of cut down. We'll have a recap of the six A championships, and we'll talk about the five A you know championships going into next week. So. Um, it's a pleasure once again have a Big E. Talk to me, Big E. I feel like I'm doing all the talking. <laughs> Quit over there yawning. Just get fired up, baby. That's Your good. team's in the championship. You should yeah. be doing jumping jacks. You should be doing <laughs> sit-ups or something. And Keon, guess yeah. what? I'm not going to give you your 100 push-ups. Keep it 100 that way, baby. So talk to me. What's up? Yeah, so uh, we briefly talked about it. Uh, big 6A, you got Jinx and Edmund Santa Fe. Uh, you already said that you got Edmund Santa Fe winning the whole thing. Uh, I think I might have to pick Jinx. In this one, I'm going to have to disagree with you. E, why would Edmund you pick Jinx? E, e, why would you pick Jinx? Because they got her hair blonde? Tradition. History no, and tradition. but time out. It's time for the new kids to take over. You know, you ever heard of the show, the, the, the group called New Kids on the Block? Yeah. You heard of them, right? Mm-hmm. The new kids on the block are taking over, Big E. We can't, I mean, great job, uh, Jinx. You've done a good thing. Edmund Santa Fe wants one. Tata wants one. You know who's there's more pressure on Jinx, there's more pressure on Bigsby than there is Chata or Edmund Santa Fe. You know why? Yeah, they ain't got nothing to lose. Yeah. No one is nobody on the radio's picked Chata to win. Ain't nobody yeah. picking Edmund Santa Fe to win. Except for a guy that went to Edmund Santa Fe, one of the guys is on Sports Animal or Franchise. He went to he went to Edmund Santa Fe. He's the yeah. only person picking Edmund Santa Fe to win. No one's picking them to win. Guess what? New kids on the block is taking over, baby. I guess we'll just have to find you out. You got to find out, Big E. Hey, so if Chata wins on Saturday night, you going to call me crying? Maybe. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows what will happen? Hey, you heard it first. So keep it 100. <laughs> you might hear Big E cry. Hey, Zoe, oh. hey, hey, somebody bring us some tissue real quick. <laughs> <laughs> talk to no, me, baby. But, talk. Uh, you know. We didn't talk uh-huh. about me with City real quick. I, I, I know oh, yeah, we kind of okay. jumped over there, man. Uh, great job, Bombers, this year, man. I know 
Um, yeah, they had a good hey, they, the game was kind of close, man. One point in time, the game was you know twenty to twenty to twenty to twenty eight. Next thing I look up and check my phone is forty nine to forty nine yeah. to twenty, and that's what I'm telling you about Bigsby, folks. They can score that quick. Yeah. That Presley kid, you might think you got him whole, and guess what? Next play, he's going eighty on you. And I'm telling you, the kid can catch, so you can split him out of receiver. He can play wildcat. He can, I mean, he can, he can play H back. He yeah. can play anywhere you put him at. So well. I'm telling you right now, Bigsby, no, they didn't play a great game. They know Chata has a great defense. So, yeah. Chata, you're going to probably go toe-to-toe with him. You're going to have to have kind of game like you had against Stillwater. You're going to have to hope for some turnovers. Because, I mean, it's a high-power game. You can try to stop one kid all night long. But guess what? The kid's going to get loose. Kind of like they did with old boy, you know, Walker. Yeah. Chata shut him down the first half. I didn't think the kid was there the first half. Yeah. Second half, he comes out strong. You know, breaks a couple touchdowns. And I tell you, this is the difference of the game that I see is that it was second and four. He slips. So now it becomes third and nine because he loses some yep. yards. If he if now they get in the passing situation, I think is either uh, number forty seven um, end up making a sack or eighty seven. I don't know if it's forty seven, eighty seven, either one in there. Forty seven is uh, Julius. Julius, Julius. Servant. Yeah, or, and then not Julius Servant. Julius. Yeah. And then uh, you got um, Brown. One of them. Brown. Yeah, one of them made the tackle yeah. for the sack, and so then it puts it puts you know Chata. You know, they had to end up punting, then, you know, still takes it right down. Uh, Larray, number 15, and getting a, you know, handoff, takes it about 30, yeah. 40 yards. But the, the, the clutch catch is probably comes from number four, uh, Burchette. Yeah, Jackson I mean, Burchette. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he still rolls one way, comes back another way. Those are, that and, was and, a heck of a catch, too. If, if Burchette can stay on his feet, he walks in the end zone. Yeah. But it was, it was just, I mean, you're talking about a, a, a pitch a perfect game, man. It was a pitch a perfect game. Yeah. Uh, the fans is into it. The, you know, the, the kids are into it, man. I mean, just, you know, uh, the only thing I just tell the guys, stay humble, man, for a couple more days and, yeah. and go take care of business on Friday night. Uh, I mean, Saturday night. And you know what? You can have your first state championship ring, baby, because oh, I'm yeah. telling you right now, wearing that around, you put that up in your closet. My kid don't even know. He's probably at the house. You know, he's <laughs> living in his apartment in Edmond, but I got it here with me. But you know what I'm saying? It's cool to have one of those. My brother got two of them. You know, I got one. You know, we won it at Midwest City, but – I'll tell you right now, those are always bragging rights. You can you sit around with your buddies. You can bring that out. And I brought it out because I want Chata Yellow Jacks to see Edmund Santa Fe, whoever's watching the show. That's what you're shooting for this week. You're shooting to get you a gold ring, yep. a gold ring, baby. You can wear it with pride. Hey, I'm telling you right now, Coach Sanders over at – and so he's over at Midwest City, but he coached at Carl Albert for a, a little bit, and he had him. He, he still wears his rings, man. Yeah, like looking like Mr. T. But well, <laughs> in, anything else, E, before we close this show up, man? I mean, I know you're excited about your Yellow yeah, Jackets. Uh, I'm super excited for them and super proud of them. Uh, any of y'all watching right now, just super proud of you guys. And uh, yeah, um, just good luck to all the teams that are playing this week. Uh, you know. Uh, you got state championships in 6A, and then you still got semifinals, and then I think you get way down there. You still got quarterfinals going on. Hey, we'll but, jump into class A and B next week. But, yeah. hey, good luck to all the basketball team. I got a chance to watch Chata's boys basketball team. They put on a show. Uh, they put on a show, scored 91 yeah. points, man. And I tell you, the girls did the same thing. I'm just telling you, man, like you said earlier, man, they're, they're going in the right direction. They're going to be fun yeah. to watch and, and keep and follow the next few years. You know, I got a chance to talk to Coach Dunn, man, you know, and – uh, no hard feelings. He knows I love him just like he loves me, man. You know, with uh, you know, the season it was tough. You know, I mean, I talked to Andy Carr the other night at uh at the workout basketball practice, man, and it's tough on Dell City. Man, anytime you can, you can, you know, you have to quarantine and you lose a couple of games, man. It's kind of hard to bounce back, man. I mean, I'm going through that, you know, with coworkers, man. You know, people get sick, man. You're trying to get them to come back, man. It's a hey, this COVID ain't no joke, man. Take it, take take it for real. It ain't no joke, yeah. man. You know. Uh, I've even got to the point I'm wearing my mask more and more now. But real quick before we go, man, I got to give a shout out to my baby girl Zoe and her little new team. Um, you know, Lady Hustles, baby, uh, kicked off their first tournament a couple weeks ago with Coach Chris and Coach Brad. Man, I tell you, those girls put on the show, scoring 136 points and only giving up 32. I wow. tell you, man, this is a little AU team, man. Coach Collier, Chris Collier, folks, if you're looking for somebody to work your kid out and get her to the next level, man, the guy's cheap. Reasonable price, man. I'm just telling you, man. Catch him, man. He's a good guy. I mean, he coaches the girls, and we got girls from all over. We got girls coming from Caillou, man, from Lee. I mean, they're all over, baby. But he put this team together, hey, because you know what? He wants these girls to play all year round, and my daughter loves it. As long as she loves it, we're going to keep doing it. If we got to travel to Alaska to play, we're going (laughs) to travel. But I wanted to give the Lady Hustles. They're looking like the Lady Lakers or the the Lakers, (laughs) but nice uniforms, man. 
Uh, great job. One thing we do, we keep it what? We keep it 100. Hey, good luck to everybody this week in the yeah. playoffs, man. State champions. Bring home the gold ball, baby. Oh, yeah. Gold ball, get your ring. We'll see you next time. Thank keep you. it 100. Oklahoma High School Sports with my man Tony J and Big E. Here yes, we sir. go.